Hey guys, Crystal Thompson here for Studio Cadia. Today we are doing a gatefold card using some beautiful Studio Cadia products. For this, we're gonna be using the trimmings border and it comes with three borders, but let me show you this. This is a lovely kind of squiggly S line, a triple S line. And this works super great with all the trimming stamp sets. So this is the pomegranate trimmings. And I feel like pomegranates can be used for any time of year. And as you can see, when you place this border, it kind of cuts both of them in two. And that's how we're going to create our uh, gatefold card with the pomegranates. And then back to that stamp set, I have already stamped it in clear and then heat embossed it in gold and colored it. So it just makes a really pretty, super easy way to create this card. And then next, for our sentiment, we're going to be using the Blooming Bunch, and we're going to be using the You're So Wonderful, and I just feel like, again, an encouragement card. For our embellishment, we're using the Studio Cadia Ripe Permacent Pearls, so we are all about fruits today. And then, last but not least, we are going to be using a beautiful Calypso Coral uh, paper along with white cardstock and the same type of ink. So let's get started. So we're going to begin by doing the die cutting of this card. So as you can see, I have stamped it and I have the outer edge um, on the outer part because I didn't know how long or how tall my card really was going to be. And this is cut at six inches because it's from an, um, excuse me, not six inches, five and a half since it is cut from an eight and a quarter cardstock excuse me, 11, and it's cut at five and a half. Okay, with that being cleared up, we're gonna begin the cutting. So this is gonna be a straight line. I have my holiday trimming borders. And so what we're gonna do is just find the right way that this goes. And once you've achieved that, you can use a little bit of purple tape to hold down your, your die so it cuts it just perfect. And what I love about this is that when you go and and do the other side, it's going to fit kind of like a puzzle. So this is a, again a great way to create gatefold cards, and this is not this is going to be a two piece. So I have that ready to go. I'm going to die cut it. I'm going to run it through my Gemini, and then we're going to actually do the same on the other side. Bring that in. Okay, so let me show you what we got here. And we got, gently remove that tape so we didn't pull up our Copic coloring or pencils or whatever it is that you decided to use. So then we're gonna come flip this around and then we are going to do the same on this, on this edge, run it through the die cutting machine and then we will come back to start folding our gatefold card. All right, so this is ready to cut. As you can see, we have those beautiful edges. So we're gonna cut our cardstock at five and a half because that's gonna be the width of our card. And then we will go ahead and do where we're gonna do our scoring. So we have our five and a half cardstock. And remember, you can always cut it out. So if you wanna do, and I'm doing very rough folds just so I can make sure that everything's gonna fit, and it will be, we're gonna begin by trimming this, and we're gonna do it right in the middle. So this distance is five and a quarter. So we're gonna do three, no, we're gonna do two and, let's see what this is, two, and a half gives us right about center. And now we have two equal pieces here. We're gonna come in and we're gonna go grab our scoreboard. And so depending on how you want your card to open, I'm gonna get these guys to look like this. So this is gonna be on the outer part of my card. All right, so we're gonna begin assembling one part of the card so we can figure out our sizing. So you can get totally mathematical and go look up your sizing. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go with the flow and completely do this gateful card without too much of a mathematical equation. So I have my first half 
And so what I'm going to do, I'm really going to try to just leave an itty bitty space because we will go ahead and cut that. So use the top parts of your card as an alignment. And, so, and if you cut the bottom part properly, you should have a perfect um, straight edge. So we're going to hand cut right here. So I'm going to bring in my scissors. And you can definitely use your, your die, but for the process of this card, I'm just going to keep it really quick, really simple. And we're just going to follow along the line of that die. Okay. And then we're going to flip this over. And so because this is going to fold over as well, it's going to look something like this. We really want to make sure that we bring in this flap further, uh, for far enough up to be able to trim out any excess. So we're going to bring it up before you go ahead and fold. Make sure you measure it out, make sure that it's going to work out. And then I'm using really thick cardstock, so it's making it a little bit difficult to fold. And as you can see, I have that beautiful edge that's going to coincide with that. So I'm going to bring in my Tombow adhesive. And I'm going to line up my two corners. All right. Okay. And now you have this gatefold card. So we're going to come in again and use our scissors. And like I mentioned, you can use your dies to get this beautiful, clean edge if you choose to do that. And now you have your gatefold card. And of course, we got to put something in here. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring in an extra piece of white cardstock. So we're going to measure here. We're going to cut this guy. We're going to trim him down just a little bit to, so this is five and a half. So we're going to trim this to five and a quarter. And then on our lengthwise, we just have to bring this guy in here and figure out what this is. So we've got five and a quarter. So we'll just do five on this edge. I'll move that aside. Now you have this perfect little square for the inner part of your gatefold card. We're going to bring it in. And now we are ready to add our sentiment and embellish. All right, so we have the You Are So Wonderful from the Blooming Bunch. And we're going to press this down. And then once that's done, we have this beautiful matching cardstock to the ink. We're going to come in and grab the ripe parmesan pearls. And we're just going to add these to the outer part of the card because this is going to close flat. All right, guys. So I added the You Are So Wonderful sentiment. We embellish this with the uh, permacin pearls and it's just super pretty and I really like the way this gatefold came out it's not super Christmassy it's just perfect for every day every day of the year and so guys that does it for me this is Crystal Thompson for Studio Caddy be sure to click like and subscribe so you can get notifications about new videos on our YouTube channel thanks so much have an amazing day